Flying Brian and Mrs. Flying Brian at McBee, South Carolina. We are at McLeod Farms. We're gonna go find out what this farm store is all about. We heard about it and we decided to make the trip and investigate for you. McLeod's is less than five miles south of the town of McBee, South Carolina on State Route 151. It has become a sort of roadside attraction, an oasis really, along this well-traveled route between Charlotte and the beaches of South Carolina. The McLeods have been farming this land since the early 1900s, and for many years sold peaches at a small roadside stand. Then, in the early 2000s, they built this fantastic farm store, which is not just a farm store. It's an ice cream stand and baked goods shop. An antiques and car museum. A butcher shop and a cafe where you can get a bite to eat. And more. Let's take a look around, starting with the farm shop. You can certainly tell it's autumn. They also have a U-Pick pumpkin patch starting in October. There's a link in the description to their website. Check to see when it starts. These grapes look huge. And of course, peaches. And will you look at this, fried green tomato mix. Well, a box of that's got to go home with us. And you can get your very own Max Pride hat and t-shirt. My guess is 121.5 pounds. And we're going to go over to the antique vehicle and machinery area of McLeod's Farm. Out in front are hundreds of pieces of old farm implements and equipment. Planters, cultivators, plows. old wagon wheels and a giant one. I wonder what that was used for. Here's a great finger remover also used to mow hay. Here's one very old gasoline pump. Pride Museum. Let's take a look inside. By the way, the museum is free of charge. Oh my! Old cars on this side. And old everything on the other side. This must have been McBee's first telephone exchange. Hello, Sarah. Can you get me Goober down at the filling station? Ah, the good old days. Looks like there may have been a lot more work in the good old days. Here's a whole row of old sewing machines. Several old photographs. and a real old Edison cylinder phonograph. Of 
Crosley. I can't say that I have ever heard of a Crosley car. It looks like a car that would have been made in the UK. But the sign says, made in the US. And I think everyone knows what this is, Volkswagen Beetle. The sign says, this is a McLaughlin, made in Canada. McLaughlin was a Canadian car company. There is quite an interesting collection of antique and classic cars here. This was definitely the era of absolutely massive chrome grills and bumpers. Back outside and there are even a couple of old fire engines to look at. plus an entire collection of vintage tractors. I used to run a tractor just like this old Ford, cutting the grass on the runway at the long gone McGuire Airport near Okoy, Florida many years ago. Place even has a butcher shop called Big's Meat and More. Inside, on one side is the meat market, the other is the cafe where you can get a bite to eat. McLeod's Farm has even more, depending on the time of year. A corn maze opens in October, as does the pumpkin patch. In the spring, you can pick your own strawberries. Here's one of the beech orchards. These are rows of strawberries that will be ready for picking next spring. McLeod's is a fun and interesting place to stop off for a couple of hours here along Route 151. And it's free, unless you stock up of course on fresh produce, baked goods or other things while here. Well, coming to the end of our visit to McLeod's farm what is it a farm store yeah. on a scale of one to ten Karen what would you rate this on the spizometer I give it about a seven seven that's a good score I was yeah. gonna give it an eight I kind of like the old antique cars and automobiles uh, trucks all the farming implements and stuff in there is very interesting to kind of just spend a little bit of time browsing through so that's it from McLeod's farm store here in McBee South Carolina. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and as always, thanks for watching.